Yo, what's good people? It's your boy Zeus here today and I'm back with a model for Zombies tutorial guide. This one's going to be Defeat Sakaev and it's the final mission for model for Zombies. First of all, I would go into the map and grab yourself loads of these contracts until you get roughly about 20 to 30k. Pack a bunch of guns to level 2. Also on screen right now, please subscribe to the channel. I know a lot of you who are new to watch my videos aren't subscribed, so definitely get on that and do that. So, back to the video. You're definitely going to need your gun to pack a punch level 2 and you want a sanitary gun and a monkey bomb for this glitch to work. You can do it without a glitch but it's just easier with it. Also you'll want an LMG just for the simple fact of this boss takes a hell of a load of bullets to kill. So once you've got all of that and the perks what you want and those armour plates and everything and you're fully set to go. Please do not forget to bring in a sentry gun and a monkey bomb. So, yeah, it will just make it 10 times easier. So, once you're ready, head to the Exfil site and you will come onto like, this island area. Um, and basically, what you need to do is fight your way all the way to the bit where you have to plant a bomb. Uh, you can follow my exact way I went, I found it the easiest way to go. Um, there will be loads of snipers on roofs as you can see right here. The easiest way I found to get through these is literally just running through them. I wouldn't stand there trying to take them out because it's just going to take too long. You're going to lose loads of armor plates and it's just it's just not worth it at all. Um, this bit here I found was the easiest way to infiltrate the actual base where you need to plant the bomb. Um, be warned there is loads of zombies that do follow you in here. So you're best off taking them out before you head up to the actual bomb. Now up here, this is very, very annoying and tedious because there's loads of snipers up on these little um, railings and trust me, these take out all three of your plates with one sniper bullet. So you definitely want to focus on them, get all of them out of the way and then plant the bomb. Don't try planting it now because you'll end up losing so many self revives and that's another thing you definitely want to get want to take in you is at least one or two self reses just in case you do go down um so there is a lot to take in in this actual last boss fight and that's why i said definitely make sure you've got everything prepared and taken a sentry gun and monkey bomb and you're going to see exactly why in just a couple of minutes and oh, it's just bliss i mean who wants to spend ages trying to kill a boss and you might just end up dying um obviously you might want to do it legit but it's just a little bit of a cheese guys, do you know what I mean? I've played that Elden Ring before and if there's a boss what's what's taking hours to defeat, I'm not saying this one would, but you just kind of want to get it out of the way and done so you can unlock that bone collector skin because it's so sick man, online, it's brilliant. Also another great tip for this mission is there's loads of buy stations around the map um, and ammo deposit sites where you can just take ammo, it's free, you don't even have to pay for it and you just run around and this bit here, once you plant a bomb you need to go all the way to your left side run all the way down and you'll see like enemy helicopters which you need to take them out not the actual helicopters the actual mercenaries inside it um here is another basket which is pretty decent because if you do end up losing loads of plates due to the big worm that comes out of the um ground beneath you in just a second you can also just run in there and uh, just replenish all your armor and everything like that so here you can see the little glitch you place your sentry gun down when you've got a little bit of time just like i did jump on the fence and then jump on top of the sentry gun and just throw the monkey bomb straight down on top of it um essentially what it does is the zombies all go to the monkey bomb but the monkey bomb never ever runs out like it's constant and like all the zombies just focus on that so that gives you incredible amounts of time to just focus on orcas the actual final boss so as you can see here i haven't got any zombies chasing me and i can just focus on him the best way to take him out and that's why i said taking an lmg with a large clip i've got 300 bullets at my disposal it was, is obviously a legendary gun um, you could probably just go in here with a rare gun or even better if you're taking an epic that'd be great but you're going to want to shoot the um, purple crystals on orcus and that defeats him a lot quicker but uh, he does a few moves what are a little bit annoying like the slam one which he's doing there the laser beam which he shoots out we just need to either go right or left um here you can see now i just run out the way but it only takes about two plates off you so there's no need to worry the only move what he does which is very very annoying is the one where he does this and he boosts you out of the ground and just remember to pull your parachute because you will fall to your death unless you have phd for part i'm not sure if that um helps at all but as you can see here, another move, what he does pull out of his little bag is them annoying little orbs. And these things take off a lot of plates. So you just definitely want to shoot them. Kind of like oh, um, harvester orbs. Not that hard to kill at all, really. Um, I would take in Aether Shroud just in case, whatever reason, you do get into a sticky situation and you need to buy armor plates or you need to do anything like that. Then uh, at least you've got them 
as a backup now we're pretty much at the end of the boss fight if this video did help you please drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel like i said previously please hit the sub button guys it takes literally two seconds and here you can see the monkey bomb and i love this little glitch and it's definitely going to help you lot i know it is and uh, as always people it's been boy zeus and i'll catch you in the next video and if you want to stick around to watch the end cutscene feel free to do so peace to the brig. Green will get the interrogation started. Nice sign of Zaka, Yev. He may be bloodied, but he's still breathing. Next time he sticks his head up, I'll take it off. What about the neutralizer? Dobbs, what's the sea trip? Give me some good news. Mm, negative. Good initial clear on detonation, but dark ether contacts are repopulating. Pipiets. Also picking up an energy spike in the red zone. Never seen anything <laughs> like it. Well. Looks like this shit show just keeps getting better and better. Everyone on TV! Looks like this off isn't gonna be over anytime soon. Bang, grab enough. Ready for evac. Solid copy. Stand by, ETA two minutes.